Sammy. Sammy. Sammy! What, man, what? You're in a world of trouble, my friend. What are you talking about, man? You're leaving a trail of unsolved murders following you around. And four people were killed last night, including a U.S. Senator, Alan Smithy. That is truly shocking. Though a shady type like Smithy must have had a lot of enemies. I didn't think you were the type to follow politics. Anyway, man, I don't know anything about anybody getting hurt, getting killed, stubbing their toe, nothing. Really? Where were you last night? You know, I really don't remember. See, I have a health condition. If I don't have enough sugar in my body, I can pass out and get to forgetting things and such. Really? I can see you making all kinds of dumb decisions. So let me see if I can help you along. Do you recognize this person? Nope. You forgot me already? I bought you that case full of money and four hours later you shot me. I just got my hair done. I was packed and ready to go to the Bahamas. You left me to bleed out all over my best pair of shoes. I can't even be buried in those now. I don't like it. I don't know what either of you are talking about. Huh? Okay. Do you recognize this person? You don't look familiar in the slightest, man. You are unbelievable, man. I paid you good money to kill Senator Smithy. Instead, you got me down in front of my fiance after I told you you were the right choice. Wait, you paid me to kill Smithy, which I did do. You didn't pay me to not kill you or Simone. Well, you know, I never thought of it that way. It just Miss Know It all over here has been busting my butt for the last I don't know how long about me getting us killed. But I never took the time to look at it from your perspective. Are you out of your damn mind? Yes, I am. He blew my brains all over the damn fireplace. And whose fault is that? You're right. Sammy, you crafty bastard. Sammy, you need to focus or you're never going to make it out of here. Look, man, I done told you everything I know, which is nothing. Sammy, I have it on good authority you were seen having dinner with this woman last night. She's not my type, man. I really underestimated you, Sammy. I should have known you're mentally unbalanced when you gave me the catch a bottle to diner. I mean, what did you want me to do with that? I had a real good thing going with Senator Smithy's office, and now it's all gone. Oh, and P.S., if you're trying to keep a low profile, don't order things off the menu like syrup bread and lemon heads. I'm hypoglycemic. If I don't have enough sugar in my system, I get a little crazy. Sammy, I'm aware of your condition, and I can see you making all kinds of stupid decisions, especially the way this one went down. Now this guy I recognize, but I heard he died of some kind of accident. He was stabbed in the back 14 times. Wow, that sounds like a crazy accident. Son, son, you've got to be the worst hit man in the history of the business. Don't you realize you're always supposed to make it look like an accident? Why, you've done your community a grave disservice. I was the change Detroit needed. You were the incumbent. How can you represent change when you were running for re-election? That doesn't make any sense. Are you yelling at a photo? What? Oh, never mind. Like I said, I don't recognize any of these people except for the senator because he's a celebrity. So unless you have some real evidence on me, I think it's time for me to go home. What size shoe do you wear, Sammy? <laughs> 13 and a half, extra wide. Why do you ask? Because you did your job well. It seems that there are no shells recovered, no fingerprints. But you killed these people in the middle of January with 15 inches of snow on the ground. And you left plenty of extra wide footprints. That don't mean anything. Michael and Simone lived in the same neighborhood as Smithy. There's a trail leading from their house to his, and you were found in a snowbank unconscious next to his house. We also have the waiter that served you and Jennifer at the diner that can connect you. Man, I sent someone out to get you that special Kool-Aid you ordered. Come back to find that you died and dashed on me? Not cool, bro. Not cool. Wait a second. I didn't kill you, so how can your ghost be haunting me? There's no such thing as ghosts. We're all just hallucinations from the guilty subconscious of your glucose-deprived brain. Earth to Sammy, I know you weren't the big man on this. That someone else is pulling the strings. So I'm prepared to make you a deal. What do you mean? Do you recognize this man? That's him. That's Mr. Big. So if I brought him in, you could positively identify him? Most definitely. All right, send him in. Sammy! That's him. That's the man that gave me my marching orders. 
He's the one with the grudges and all the crazy ideas. I was just following my orders. I trusted you, man. You're a traitor. <laughs> you hear that, officer? He's guilty as sin. Arrest him and take him to jail. Well, I never said I was a police officer. We just had to see if we could trust you to keep your mouth shut. Time to take out the trash.